there's a great love story between Mini and, um, and their involvement in Monte Carlo. A kind of a legendary status. Um, there were lots of stories. It became a bit of a, a kind of David and Goliath story and uh, a story of heroism of the little Mini going to Monte Carlo and beating the bigger cars and the bigger teams. Monte Carlo is a rally like no other. Um, it brings many challenges to the drivers. It's not all about ultimate speed and the performance in the car. We're in the Alps. It, we go from 200 metres to 1,600 metres and that brings with it so many weather differentials and they drive in all types of conditions. On most rallies, we fight over a tenth of a second per kilometre between cars and drivers. And on this rally, on some stages, that's still the case. But on other stages, like we had yesterday morning, suddenly seconds become minutes, and the minutes are about tyres, not about the handling of the car or the talent of the driver, but about being on the right tyre in the right condition. So in a, what I would call a typical Monte Carlo rally, tyres are probably 90% of the story, and the rest is the driver. Normally, on a typical asphalt rally, we worry about wet or dry. But on this rally we have wet and damp and dry and cold and very cold and ice and snow and slush and that's uh, unbelievable. So to fill in that matrix of tyres and tyre conditions is a massive job, especially when we have limited testing. But by working closely with Michelin we can understand better what to expect and maybe we can predict the performance in certain conditions that we haven't to, had to test in. What the driver's looking for is, um, is a, a tire, obviously always chasing ultimate grip in braking and in, um, in, in um, lateral G. What the driver needs is the, the feedback from the tire that gives him the confidence to be able to drive to the grip limit but not over it. I think the, the challenge for Michelin has been to create tires that are as versatile as they are. We used to have it, let's say the winter tyre, which is typical for this rally when the conditions are bad. We probably had four different winter tyres according to the amount of snow and the amount of ice and the amount of asphalt on the stage. Now they have to make one winter tyre, which is good in all of those conditions and can cope with 20 or 30 kilometres at full speed on dry asphalt. That area of development has been impressive and I think it's the same thing you see in modern road tyres, that we now expect to have a winter tyre that is fine on the motorway and in the dry conditions. We don't expect to stop when we go to a ski resort to put on studded tyres. We expect to drive from a city, drive down the motorway, then drive up the mountain. Michelin, a better way forward.